Hello everyone, welcome for this lecture. Today we are going to discuss the numericals on discrete time signals okay, of convolutions. So let's continue with this. Evaluate output signal y of n with the input x of n uh, that is alpha raised to n into u of n where alpha is between 0 to 1 and h of n that is impulse response is u of n. Both the signals x of n and h of n they are given in the form of equations. First task is to get the signals of those two. Alpha raised that is x, x of n is equal to alpha raised to n u of n. This signal alpha raised to n u of n signal uh, where alpha is less than 1 is n greater than 0. So this signal comes like this starting from 1 magnitude and it goes on decreases up to infinity. Okay. If you want you can try with this where take alpha is between 0 and 1 value. I will take it as 0.5. Okay. It is nothing but 1 by 2. So let's start substituting n equal to 0 to n. Okay. Let's substitute n equal to 0 first. Alpha raised to that is 1 by 2 raised to 0. Anything raised to 0 is 1 and anything raised to infinity is 0. Okay. Now and uh, next point I will be putting 1 that is uh, 1 by 2 raised to 1 is nothing but 1 by 2. So it is nothing but 0.5. Then again alpha raised to 2 that is 1 by 2 raised to 2. So it is nothing but 1 by 4 which value is 1.25 and so on. You can observe first signal at 0 it is 1 at 1 it is 0 0.5 at 2 it is 0 0.25 means it is goes on decreases suppose if alpha is alpha is greater than 1 okay let's take its value is 2 okay alpha is 2 then when alpha is 2 alpha is to 0 that is 2 raised to 0 is 1 okay and alpha is to 1 that is 2 raised to 1 which is 2 2 raised to 2 which is 4 and so on means your signal would be from 1 to 2 4 and so on like this it goes right you be careful about while drawing these signals so alpha is to you be careful about this alpha also they have said alpha is greater than 0 and less than 1 so you can take the signal is decreases up to infinity starting from 1 and we are very familiar with this that is h of n signal equal to u of n so which is from 0 to infinity right and with a magnitude of 1 1 okay now we have got both the signals now we have to decide which signal has to be reversed let's take this signal because it is we are very comfortable and uh, oftenly we have used this so let's take its inverse okay h of n minus k signal inverse so means inverse means uh, reversed and shifted okay so this is at 0 1 minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 and so on with the magnitude 1 let's take this point as n what we have to find out is y of n which is nothing but a summation of minus infinity to plus infinity x of k into h of n minus k let's take the which is a constant signal now to be kept constant which is x of n and then take this signal reverse that is uh, take this signal okay take this signal and start shifting less than 0 greater than 0 and all observe this signal is also up to infinity this signal is also up to infinity then there is no much difficult we may get two or three cases okay let's find out the first case let's place h of, h of n as a constant now we know h of n minus k signal is from this okay so with the magnitude one let's place when n is less than zero when you are placing less than 0 with a magnitude 1 okay with a magnitude 1 there is no signal is overlapping so y of z, y of n can be taken as 0 first case second case when n is equal to when n is equal to 1 sorry n equal to 0 we have to place our n at 0 so then magnitude this signal will be like this how many signals are overlapped only one signal is overlapped that is y2 of n equal to 1 1 into 1 1 we have taken 
so next suppose we can place now third condition i can take that is n is greater than 0 anywhere on the line you can place i will place here somewhere here take point n so i will start placing this signal okay how many signals are overlapped this is also infinity this is also infinity how many signals between these two are overlapped observe from 0 to okay from these two up to n signal those are overlapped okay here also the, there are signals but this signal is at n and this signal is up to 0 and this signal are present but there is no signals on the previous one therefore how many signals are overlapped between 0 to n okay we can take that signal see I have placed this signal here somewhere on n so your signal will be present between 0 to n okay so write that equation how to write it it is nothing but x of n okay x of n only we have taken so x of n minus k into h of n okay any one signal which signal we have taken reverse sorry h so it is it should be h, x of n into simple multiplication with h of n minus k signal so take what is the magnitude of a, a x of n it is nothing but alpha raised to n into u of n simple multiplication with h of n minus k is nothing but u of n its magnitude is also 1 its magnitude is also 1 what about this alpha raised to n let it be like that only which is equal to summation of 0 to 0 to n alpha raised to n okay now we have to find out this values that is that is y3 of n equal to 0 to n alpha raised to n where this is your gp that is geometrical progression okay earlier in the earlier uh, problem we had got a summation of 1 okay summation of uh, some value say 3 to n was there when equal to 1 it was arithmetic progression now we have a geometric progression that is alpha raised to n when you have 0 to n you will get y3 of n equal to from 0 to n it will be 1 minus alpha raised to n plus 1 divided by 1 minus alpha so what we can do is now let's take n equal to okay when n was less than 0 when it was less than 0 y was 0 okay when n equal to 0 y of n was 1 and then when n is greater than 0 its value was this that is 1 minus alpha is to n plus 1 divided by 1 minus alpha so we have to draw the y of n so let's take y of n start with the 0 because less than 0 it was completely 0 signals we were getting okay suppose a value of at a, at 0 its value was 1 and at 1 n equal to 1 substitute in this equation that is 1 minus alpha raised to n value is 1 1 plus 1 is 2 1 plus 1 divided by 1 minus alpha is nothing but i can take this one as 1 square that is nothing but a square minus b square i can write a plus b a minus b a plus b into a minus b divided by 1 minus alpha so this 1 minus alpha this minus 1 alpha get cancelled at 1 there will be 1 plus alpha we know that 1 plus alpha alpha we know the value that is greater than 0 means a positive value only we have so 1 plus any positive value will be increases and greater than 1 right so here it will be greater than 1 okay and then similarly if you increase this 2 3 4 and all the values will be increased one right up to where so suppose let's substitute n is equal to infinity let's substitute n is equal to infinity okay n is equal to infinity but at the end so what you can get is 1 minus alpha raised to infinity plus 1 infinity plus 1 is obviously infinity alpha raised to infinity is 0 right 1 divided by 1 minus alpha okay so at infinity you get 1 minus alpha so by this this is your y of n signal 
and uh, from this we can get that suppose the signal is from 0 to infinity 0 to infinity okay alpha is to n then easily you can write its value is 1 minus alpha 1 divided by 1 minus alpha okay if this is true when alpha is less than 1 okay if alpha is greater than 1 then it would be 1 divided by alpha minus 1 okay thank you